Greetings, citizens of the free world. We are toxic cops. We exploit those police officers who tarnish the shield and violate our civil rights. The need to film willful police misconduct is propelled by officers who are abusive and black in the eye of good law enforcement. Now, as a case in point, let's look at an incident that happened April 29, 2011. A respected Bogota police officer Regina Tasca is punished for taking defensive action against fellow officers Sergeant Joe Rella and Sergeant Chris Tebald. April 29, 2011, as the officer in charge of the situation, Officer Tasca, seen here in photo, followed the Bogota Police Department's use of force policy to the letter by intervening to protect the victim from a criminal assault committed by an officer, Sergeant Joe Rella, from another department. Well, too often we show you cop beatdowns caught on tape, but this one is different. It's another cop who intervened, and now she's about to get fired for it. Kirsten Cole has more on the story. Kirsten? Yeah, Jody, this one just does not make sense. An officer brave enough to stop two other officers who are beating an emotionally disturbed young man ended up getting suspended for it, and she's facing firing tomorrow. She says it's worse than just not being a part of the boys' club. It's really because she crossed the line, the blue line. It's hard to listen to a mother, Tara, screaming for police to stop punching her son on their front lawn. She had called to have her emotionally disturbed son, Kyle, taken to the hospital. Bogota police responded while waiting for the ambulance. Officer Regina Tasca got the call. But it's the two backup officers from Ridgefield Park who deliver the beating. The Ridgefield Park officer automatically charges and takes him down to the ground. Another police officer from Ridgefield Park comes in his car flies to the scene, just starts punching him in the head. Kyle never threatened, wasn't violent, didn't have a weapon. Eventually, Officer Tasca was able to pry the punching Ridgefield Park officer off Kyle, as seen in this picture taken by his mom, who later commended Tasca. I this was excessive force used against an emotionally disturbed person. This was uh, an unlawful tackle. This was uh, punching. What happens next is baffling. He's asking me to turn over my weapon. Bogota PD suspended Tasca for stopping the officer's excessive violence. They never questioned those Ridgefield Park officers about the tackle, the punches. Kyle was taken to the hospital. His bruises documented, but no charges were ever filed. Officer Tasca says the real reason why she's being called out on these charges because she crossed the blue line. She refused to support another officer even when his actions turned violent. The other problem, the Bogota Police Department is very small, fewer than 20 officers. And here, she is a definitive minority. They've never had a female officer before. I am the first and only. First and only gay female also. Despite Tasca's numerous commendations and awards, her 11 years on the job, it can all end this week if a judge decides she should indeed be fired. It's not just terminating her. They're destroying her reputation. I called the Bogota Police Department numerous times for comment. They never returned the call. And Ridgefield Park Police confirmed the two officers caught on tape delivering the tackle and the beating were never investigated or disciplined, Jody. All right. Do not be intimidated and keep the cameras rolling because remember, according to the courts, it's your right to film police officers while performing their public duty. Thanks for watching. God bless you, your family and God bless America.